first of all point on where is a flexor this is a flexor and this is extensor now i have shown you previously what happens when it make it straight and what happens when it bends so you can see that physical therapy that is a physiotherapist is doing a physical therapy that can help people to gain full use of their muscles and joints after an injury. So if they use their muscles and joints and how to do it, the physiotherapist will guide them to improve the function of their muscles and joints. Next, move it or lose it. What are some injuries and disorders of the muscular system? A strain is muscle injury in which a muscle... You remember before when I was talking about joints or bones? I told you about four things. Fracture, sprain, osteoporosis, and arthritis. That was about bones. Now let us discuss about muscles. Strain, it's an injury which, where, which a muscle is overstretched or torn. The muscle gets torn. That's called a strain. Muscular dystrophy, it causes skeletal muscle to become weaker over time. By age, it gets weaker. The muscles, they get weak. Even because of some diseases like sugar, oxygen is not enough in your muscles. When you run fast or when you, you know, when you do a lot of work in a day or in an hour, so what happens? You feel pain in your muscles because enough oxygen don't reach there. Tendinitis occur when tendons become inflamed. Now what are tendons, girls? They are something attached to the bone. The tough strands, those are called tendons. Please be sure about the differences of ligaments, tendons, and about the tissue, connective tissue. Okay, all that together might make you confused. So that's why I read the lesson again and again. Tendinitis occur when tendons become inflamed. So these three are the disorders of muscles, you know, muscle injuries. Strain, muscular dystrophy, and tendinitis occurs when tendons become inflamed or torn. So how do you improve it? By exercise that helps to improve physical fitness and health. It can increase strength, endurance, and flexibility. It can also improve heart and lung function and reduce stress. Wow. Good. So you all are undergoing stress. So you can do some exercise. You know, aerobic and anaerobic exercise. You can watch videos on YouTube. Like seven minutes workout for aerobic. That is in presence of oxygen, which will make your heart beat faster. Anyways, people should get 30 to 60 minutes of exercise a day. I'm sure you're not doing one. So at least plan from today to start aerobic and anaerobic exercise at least 15 to 20 minutes. It's not just for people who's gaining fat. No, it's for everyone. It makes your heart run faster. Not fast, I mean heart work appropriate, faster. And your lungs, you can breathe properly when you breathe in good enough oxygen you are not stressed you don't you're not tensed with things you don't get upset very fast so these all things your moods okay the way you behave it depends it depends on on the way you are active the whole day okay so what are some benefits of exercises resistance exercises or anaerobic exercise that is in absence of oxygen in which you don't need a lot of work to do just lifting up little of whole loads, you know, cleaning up your room or something. Just lifting. It's not much of a work done in anaerobic. You do not require oxygen for contraction. Involves short burst of intensive work. Endurance. Resistance is anaerobic. Endurance exercises are aerobic exercises. It requires oxygen for contraction. Involve extended periods of movement. Flexibility is improved by stretching muscles. Okay, you, if you stretch your muscles, the way you are stretching your muscles will make you more flexible. And this is what here in the lesson.
this one I wanted to explain here I told you about the resistance please underline these here muscle cells contract without using oxygen this is this is a resistance that is anaerobic muscles endurance it's aerobic and they told you exercise that raise your heart rate to a certain level for at least 60 minutes improve the fitness of the heart a fit heart is more efficient pump it can pump more blood around the body with each beat it's also less likely to develop any heart disease good muscle strength and joint flexibility may help a person avoid injuries weight training help bones stay dense and strong dense strong bones are less likely to break so 30 to 60 minutes of physical activity every day can help to improve the health of people of all ages from children to adult thank you so much girls this was your lesson today and try to complete your books and we will take our class on sunday inshallah happy weekend stay at home stay safe girls wash your hands regularly help your mother help your father okay encourage them to drink a lot of milk and curd which gives them good calcium to make them healthy and even you all take care of yourself. Thank you, guys.